All right, we got a special tour of you today because my mom is sleeping in the other room and hopefully I don't wake her up. Um, but uh, we're just gonna start with the things you can see here. So first off, this is the, um, actually I have the box for it, let me grab the box. Plague Doctor found it on Marketplace, there are 14 of them. Um, it's the Neo FX Next sculpture for, that's from Moo Mozart. Um, bunch of people got one, a few of like the lava companies that ever got multiple to sell. And for some reason, they all came with these red and green rods glued together. Um, I, I picked up three copies, sold two already, uh, but they were all similar. And they are all also missing um, two of the balls uh, on the edges of these. But I found two caps, two rubber caps laying around that are black and that perfectly fit on the extra two rods. Um, so obviously I have a bunch of clips of this up. It's like five minutes worth, I'm pretty sure. You can see it more there, as well as some of the different designs I ended up making and that are now sent off. Um, but I went with this one to keep because it looks most like the normal Venus. And also, well, I had not actually. Um, maybe you got one for yourself. I, if you didn't, don't be too mad because they all came kind of fucked. Um, let me get to the box. Okay, there was also an extra ball that was glued on to the top of, like, that, 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 the middle thing. But it's got so much glue, it's almost impossible to, um, use as a ball. You can see the Spencer sticker here. That would've been cool, but no. Also, saving this for myself because I didn't try it and want to see if it pulls up anything funny. Okay, with that out of the way, um, this is a Disco Ball Mobile I got from Timu, Timu, if you've heard of that. It's a bunch of cheap shit for cheap prices that you can get for cheap. Although, my mom did an order with a couple things, kind of for me, and then I did my own personal order, and it went pretty well. Free shipping, everything jerkishly cheap, this was $7. Um, it is probably the closest thing as far as how much I'll ever get, so, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, also up there is the, uh, like, a baby mobile spinner, because if I ever want to spin something slow, like the Teddy Mobile, which the mechanism's weird on, as a, on one of my wind spinners, then I can just use that, and you can turn the stupid music off, which I was worried about at first, because it didn't say either way. But luckily, not a problem. Another thing from... Oh, come, come, oh my... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing from Team U is the sand picture, with extra fingerprints that I need to dust off. Oh, and extra strobe lighting from the, the lights on, above me right now. Um, I, I thought this was going to be a little closer to Van Gogh when it came. I mean, I have basically the Van Gogh one, but it's in ass condition, so... But you know what, for clip purposes, this is still pretty good. I can't really complain. It looks cool. It kind of functions differently from the Van Gogh ones, so I don't mind. Uh, I just need to clean it off. Although the gold glitter in it is kind of weird. Like, I don't really know why they did that. <sighs> okay, so, next up is a lot I found from Google Shopping. A lot of three desk toys, as quoted by the seller. Here's the first one and the main reason I bought it. The lot, the lot was 22, by the way. This is the space wheel, and for some reason, this is worth, like, a lot. And not just for, you know, being kinetic. Or being a kinetic from BE, which is obviously not. It's close. Some people think it is, but, uh, not quite. This is very, very vintage, very, very old, and very, very bad condition. Well, eh, not very, very bad, but very bad. It's a lot smaller than the spiral pendulum. I could have uh, brought it in, brought it in here to compare, but it is sitting nicely on uh, not not yet, not a shelf, but like a kind of a dresser type thing. Uh, but a few people have this. It's nice, although it would have been nice if it was better condition. But for the price, twenty-two for three desk toys. I can't complain. Here's desk toy. Oh, oh my. Okay. Here's desk toy number two. The space balls, which I somehow didn't have, a couple asterisks about that, I'll refrain from getting into it, uh, and it's the space balls. 
I don't have a battery in it right now because why would I waste that or one of the connectors on the space balls? But like, I don't have it. It wasn't a lot. Cool. It works, but you can get this in better condition from Golden Island, I'm pretty sure. The third desk toy is was an ugly spiral timer, but I left it downstairs. And just know that it was yellow with blue liquid. The yellow parts were dirty, and the blue liquid didn't work very well. Maybe I'll show it in July toy review, which, by the way, probably won't have much. Uh, I have a big vintage order, but that won't be in the toy review. That'll be its own video. So other than that, I don't expect that much for July. I, I usually kind of, uh, July, August, September, I usually don't get that much as compared to others. And I don't think it's going to be much of an exception, even though I will be home this year. Um, okay, I'm sorry for making you sit through space balls. Really, really sorry. Alright, I got another Timu thing. I'm not even going to put this one on the mo- on the, um, the motor because it sucks. So, this came bent. It's like a, you know, like a spiral thing, like the Space Wave or the one for Mozart. But it's all gray, or silver, not gray. Uh, but it's bent, so it doesn't look great on camera, and it doesn't really look great on black either, because of the reflections. So, overall, it just kind of stinks. Uh, but for $4.79, oh well. I'll just throw it at the wall or something. This next one is also from China, but it's not from Timu. It is a liquid timer that would look better on white. But, this is a really, really nice liquid timer. It's got it from AliExpress for like, I think just under 10 bucks, and... You know, I don't see blue-red that often. This one doesn't have animals in it, which is rare for China at this point. So I figured, why not? And you know, the clouds, I only kind of just noticed, but... This is a good clip. It doesn't even look that bad on black. And that's without it being perfectly in focus. There we go. So yeah, so there's a little timer, not rare, but, you know. What can you do? Alright, something fell, and this is from Team U, and it's the only B toy I got from Team U. Uh, this is definitely not exact. Like, it, no way is it. But, um... I can't dock myself points for it because it's one point. It's just a mannequin from Da Vinci. You know, you can, you can't make it dab, which is really, really sad. But you can make it. Um, I don't know. Ballet. Yeah, you can make it ballet. That's a big bonus. I have nothing to say. It's two dollars and ten cents. Okay, here's a weird one. This is one of the final things from China. Um, you know the jewel in Van Gogh? Yeah, I actually got a couple jewels. Two of them, to be exact. They came from AliExpress. Um, it's kind of hard to film a clip of because the hole is really small, so you can't put basically any hook you would with a normal wind spinner in it. Um, but I think I can make it work. I might, I might be able to make it work like this. I'll, I'll, you may see a clip of this go along with it. I'm not sure. Or go along with this video, like, be right up there, right after. And then another one I'm probably going to sell. Well, not sell, because they were five dollars total. So, if you order something from me and you want this jewel, you got it. Also, I've changed the colors. Well, not, like, permanently changed, but started using the daylight on the camera and it looks so much better than Otto because Otto looks s stupid and not like baby Einstein's. Okay, we have probably the rarest BE toy in this video. Uh, just a little bit a couple days ago. It's the candy train and because baby Sancho did the same thing, well, before, I'm just gonna leave you with this. Okay, done. I mean, that that is, that is what Santa did, is it not? Obviously, you can see it's better than a clip. I'm not going to hang it on the thingy, but it is exact. I got it. Separated from a lot. It was a Google Lens fine. Thank you, George. God damn it, poor sweetie. Okay, here's something I forgot in the last video, May Tour Review. It's the Spiral Streamers. 
Um, I did a clip of these, so I'm not too mad I forgot them. Just know that they're cooler than they should be. Uh, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get clip from black. I don't know, but if, um, the white is the best I could do. I'm really proud of that one. And these are exact. If you want them, they're on Amazon for, I believe, I was I think it's eight dollars for a 24 pack. Let me stop the camera. Oh, also, if you order something from me, remind me to throw one of these in with you. And if I like it, you'll get the exact colors. Maybe, I don't know. I'll probably just pick it at random. <sighs> okay, we've got more hanging things. These two are the final things from Team Timu? Team I don't know. But regardless, they were $2 each, and I'm very happy with them. So this is the heart. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of resembles stuff like the Monet spinner, you know, with the kind of layered... And the reflection it makes is really nice. Um, and then you got the butterfly, which... Oh, come on. Butterfly, which is the same thing. Although it's kind of tilted when you hang it. It's not like perfectly... Whatever. I've got clips of both these up. Pretty proud of them. Um, yeah. Two dollars each. Can't really get mad. Hey, right, I've got the only thrift store find of the month, although the Pop Pop Top in the previous review was bought in June, so... Uh, we got the fiber optic butterfly. I, I always kind of wanted two of these, which sounds dumb, and, you know, I don't, would think it was dumb normally. But, um, the only reason is because my grandma has this, has my old copy at her house as decoration. And, you know, I wanted one for myself, one for her. And I got that. And for a whopping price of $5.49. I'll plug it in, but you won't be able to see it very well. Um, just look at the clip I did of it a couple days ago. That gives you a better idea. Oh, oh my. Okay. The one thing about it, the AC adapter does not stay in very well. And it's really, really annoying. But other than that, it works almost perfectly. Um, I'm not sure if the back is supposed to look like this. Okay, you can you can see you can see it on right now. Not not well, but it is on. It came with the box, and it. I was about to walk out of the store because the store had a ten dollar Cornelius and a ten dollar common lava lamp base, and I was like, hell no. But then this was just sitting on a dresser. Uh, it's Light FX, which is the only thing I have in BE is the um, fiber optic lamp in Newton. That's credited to MME, which is the same thing. So, it would have come in a box similar to this. Uh, it's got the packaging in it, 549. Yeah, I think it has instructions. Never mind, it doesn't. I was wrong. Ugh, come on, come on. Okay. All right, we got another plug-in thing. This is. The Nature's Fire by Fascinations, whenever the cord will stop tangling the camera. Okay, here we go. And I needed a... not needed, I hate using that word in this context, but... I could have I, I could have used a new volcano lamp because that cheap lava, like, lamp-styled one that I had was trash, so I destroyed it, um, which is, you know, what, what you do in these types of situations. And I went ahead and got this one off eBay. They sent me an offer. The listing was 20 They sent me an offer for 12 so I got it for just under 20 with shipping. They took forever to ship it, but once they did, it arrived and it was good. Although, one, the only thing that's not good about it... Um, oh, come on. Okay. I screwed the gear in too tight. The only thing that's not good about it is... It's loud. Like, louder than it should be, really. It's not obnoxious, but if you're close to it, it is a little much. Because, like, the lava one I had was silent. But, you know, it works well. And I'm not a huge fan of the lights. I, I could probably tape the lights if I wanted to. Well, eh. Eh. I don't know. I'll I'm not going to mess with it. It's not worth it. Just know it is a good volcano lamp, and if you see this for cheap, 
get it. They've got a mini version too, which I only realized was different after I got this, but I'm glad I got the regular one. Uh, I like, I kind of like the like, I, I kind of like the like, uh, I like this like outer silver, not silver, clear. I, I cannot colors today, it's very hard. I used to be fixated on getting colors right, but I, I really disappointed myself. <sighs> Too bad. Okay, that's enough. Alright, and uh, is this the final thing? Yes, it is. A couple lava lamp type things I've already sold. Can't go over them, didn't, whatever. Um, but the final thing we have for this video is the fiber optic peacock, which I got on eBay. I think Slava sent it to me. Thank you. I've been wanting this. There are many versions of this. Some are bigger than this, some are smaller than it. But, you know, I don't really care. Because when you turn it on... Come on. Plug, plugging it into an old extension cord is not easy. Because when you turn it on, it, it looks really, really good. And, you know, better when it's not 2 p.m. in the day. I did some clips of this that I was really proud of because I was able to uh, really edit it to look good with low contrast. Um, obviously, this is not the best way to view it. You can see the clips for how it really looks, but... It's really nice. I don't have a set place for it yet, but I don't really mind. This is, I think, just over 20, maybe 25, so I can't really complain. Um, I, ha I just have the case off because I did that for filming and never screwed it back in. Also, it is a music box. It plays for release for some reason. You can stop now. And, as far as I know, well, besides first Battle Timer, I forgot, that is it for June Toy Review. I didn't think there'd be much. There's a little more than I originally expected, but, um, I'm, I'm really happy with the stuff I got this month. I think it's a good mix of qual quantity, quality over quantity, and then just some, like, the Timu stuff that's just weird, random, whatever. Um, the next thing I know I'll be doing for sure is obviously clips here and there whenever I feel like it, which, you know, happens sometimes. And, um, a vintage order in around mid-late July that provided everything go according to plan is gonna be probably my best one yet. Probably. I don't know, maybe, maybe you'll think another one's better, but that's okay. So, uh, if you don't mind, I need to go clean this stuff up, and by that I mean go downstairs and wait to do it until tomorrow. Alright, good bye.